Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Twins versus Brewers Major League Baseball matchup on Saturday, July the 20th, 2024. If you like all the free picks we do at Pick Dogs, you'll love our premium picks, our best bets. Use the discount code PICK to get 15% off. We also have products meant for people that make bigger bets, people with big bankrolls looking for that VIP concierge style service. We offer these products, they're just not available on the website. They're easy to get, you just gotta text the number that you see on the screen. Of course, uh, these are meant for people who make big bets, so they're most expensive premium products. We have our free picks, like the video you're watching here, and free picks on the website. We have regular premium picks on the website. I bet mine every day, but of course, this is not a free pick line. But anyways, let's get to it. We've got the Twins taking on the Brewers, and uh, you know both these teams pretty much looking like playoff teams so far this this season the brewers have pretty much ha been in control of the national league central for quite some time you know earlier this year they were battling it out with the cubs for that top spot meanwhile the cardinals you know are pressing hard the pirates are playing some solid baseball in that division but uh you know it still has been the brewers who have had some choppy rocky play along the way and you know they've had their share of bumps and bruises as well but they continue to roll on and, uh, you know, this has been the way the Brewers have been for quite some time. And I know Craig Council, you know, come and gone as far as the manager goes. But the beat still goes on in Milwaukee. And this team is uh, certainly, you know, a factor and a, and a team that can roll with just about anybody on any given day. But the problem is we haven't really seen that consistency where they go on one of these heaters that you see some of these really, really elite and top tier teams that have been. And this has been the same story for the Brewers in recent years, the team that just can't get past the Los Angeles Dodgers. Now, they did beat the Dodgers in one of those games in that series in L.A., but they also took a few on the chin in that series as well. So there has to be some concerns. Meanwhile, the Minnesota Twins, streaky good, streaky bad, but really they've only had that one bad streak. Other than that, they've been rolling along pretty well. Pablo Lopez gets the ball here for the Twins, and the thing about him is, is that while he's seen as the ace, as the ace of the staff generally, he rarely has never delivered to the, that ability that you know they thought he had when they traded him uh, you know when they traded for him from the Marlins and uh, gave up a rise for him you know in, in the process you know Lopez to me just continues to show that he has that high-end stuff I mean this guy could throw a no-hitter on any given day but at the same time he can get rocked at any given moment as well and he checks in with a 5.11 ERA 121 strikeouts through 104 innings but 18 home runs as well um, over his last three starts, 5.06 ERA. So, I mean, he has been hit, no doubt about it. Look at the way that these teams have been hitting the baseball. And, I mean, the Twins have just been absolutely crushing it from both sides of the plate. 306 versus righties, 263 versus lefties over the last 10 starts. Meanwhile, the uh, Brewers just 195 versus right-handed pitching. So, they're probably going to struggle even against Lopez. But against lefties, 302. Meanwhile, the bullpen ERAs, the Brewers over their last 10, 4.62, and the Twins at 2.94. The thing is, is that neither of these teams played on Friday. It was a weird thing. I mean, they had a week off, and they need, you know, Friday off again. It's almost like, right, Kawhi Leonard, Bradley Beal in the NBA. It's like load management in game one. I, I don't really understand it. I think with all the things that baseball's done right this year, I don't understand this, you know, why these regional series the ones that you know you want to see more of you actually are two game series like the cubs white Sox, or the yankees mets are only two game series and when these are the ones you really would rather see a four game series right it's like the ones you want to see more of they show less of and the ones you want to see less of i don't know man it's just they show more of it really doesn't matter what we care about is who's going to win this one and i gotta say i just think the twins I, I like the way that they've been at home i don't like the way lopez is pitched but at the same time I just think the Twins have been the more consistent, better team of these two. I'm going to take them in this spot, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, be sure to use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. 100% free, and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.